right, I think we are up. All right, so I will officially begin my stream and playthrough of Dark Souls, which is one of the most legendary, loved, and feared games of all time. And it's a, it's a game that's had a big impact on me. And so let's go ahead and dive into this game and see what makes it so special. I've played this game all the way through once. And I will be going with a different type of character. It was many years ago when I played Dark Souls. My original character was named Darkness, and so I'll name this character Light. Male, um, for my class, hmm, and I love this music, like this, this character creation music, it is, it has stayed with me since the first time I played this game. Like, every now and then I just turn this music on just to read or study or think. And this it's just one of those tracks that I, I, always, I always listen to it. It has this, it has this kind of sad, hopeful, soothing, mystical feel to it. Like, very, like you're in a, like you're in a beautiful place, but you're alone. And it's kind of dark and sad, but beautiful. That's kind of, kind of the feelings that this song gives me. So for my actual class, um, I'll probably go with the Pyromancer. I think I want to do Pyromancy. Um, I believe that the best gift is the Master Key. Physique will just be average. Face. My favorite one is the jubilant Katarina. That, <laughs> he's so happy. It's so out of place. Like his face is just so out of place because he's just so jovial. Um, I think I'll go with the dubious Karim. Hmm. Hair. I think I'm going to go with the semi-long Leon Kennedy style hair. I'll even give him the blonde hair. And I think that's it. Oh yeah, the famous cutscene. very Eastern, that way of looking at the dualism. This is still cool, like what, 11, 12 years later? This is like a 12 year old game, weird. Or Gwyn.
see if the scale is. A dragon that betrayed his own kind. Wow. Even today, that is still a great intro. That is like a 10 out of 10 intro. Wait, the end of the world. Oof. Okay, what an introduction. It's like a, it starts off like this, almost like a, like a dark fairy tale. But what's interesting is like as dark, and, as dark as this world is and as evil as it seems, there's no such thing as evil in this world. There's no such thing as evil in this world because this has like an Eastern like dualistic worldview where there's no like, there's no such thing as like good or evil. There's uh, it's just light and dark. It's just like two different polarities that are in constantly in flux and constantly in need of each other. That's kind of the, the spiritual underbelly of this world. <clears throat> which I don't agree with <laughs> but that's the that's the philosophy of the people who made the game the bonfire yeah, the, these bonfires are so iconic now Oh, I remember you. And I remember the first time I played this game years ago. I tried to fight that guy over and over, and I didn't see that door I just ran through. I did not see that for forever, man. Like I felt by the time by the time I found that door, I felt so smart and then so stupid at the same time. Is my my other weapon around here? 
Okay, ran off, so you go ahead and equip that. I know my weapon is around here somewhere. Is it this? Yep. Okay. All right, got my got my starting loadout except for my pyromancy glove. Do I get that later? Hmm. How do I is there a way to drop stuff? I don't get my pyromancy glove here, do I? I don't think I do, but yeah, let me just be OCD. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I must not. Oh, this game. This game has caused many people to throw their controllers, I'm sure. Oh yeah, you can just tap B to back stuff. Pretty cool. That's the other way. Oh, this ball's gonna roll down, right? I think I go through here. For oh, yeah, right. I have to talk to that knight. He's in here. I mean, I look pretty hollow. I mean, look at me. Sure. The first time I said no. <laughs> Maketh, thou ringeth, thou shalt. Now that we're talking prophecy, we get the biblical, biblical speak. Hey, what's up, Jaime? An Estus flask, none dead favorite. Yeah, I think if you say no, he just dies. I think that's what happens. I think he just like dies in front of you and then he drops the stuff that he gives you. I think that's what happens. Which is pretty funny. Was there anything down there? Play. I don't remember. Oh, is this just looping me around? Yeah. I remember this. When do I get my Pyromancer glove? Oh, yeah, the kick. I think that's to block to to get people from, prevent them from blocking too much, right? There it is. Oh man, I had no idea that someone was here.
Oh, no. Where where are you guys coming from? Let's put it on the other hand, actually. Put it here. So we can swap out. Uh, yeah. That looks good. And this is the old prepare to die edition. This isn't the the remastered one. After looking at it, man, like honestly, the remastered version did not look remastered at all. It looked it it, it looked the same. Like it runs I think at 60 frames per second, but there's there's a mod for this game you could just download for free and get the game to run at 60 frames per second, which is pretty outrageous honestly. And otherwise, like, a few textures maybe looked a little bit better. Um, they didn't change anything about the, the balance of the game, which they could have. They didn't add any new weapons. They didn't do anything. Any Huge whiff. It was a huge missed opportunity. So yeah, I didn't end up upgrading to the remastered version. <clears throat> yeah, this guy isn't even the first boss, really. Like, really the first boss is the Taurus Demon. The Big Pilgrim's Key. And this game is famous for... What's really cool about this game is that it doesn't hit you over the head with its story. Instead, it just kind of organically tells the story through the world itself, like the environment, the item descriptions, the placement of things. Like, the narrative and the gameplay are in total harmony with each other all the time, completely. Like, you're never in these stupid situations where you get this this really shitty video game story, and it, like, the gameplay is actively getting in the way of the story, and to where, like, the story doesn't even make sense in the context of the game, like The Last of Us 2. You know, the story makes no sense about, like, the cycle of violence or whatever, while the game is, like, you're having fun blowing people to pieces, you know, in, like, these really gory ways. And the, the gameplay gets in the way of its own story. For this game, like, the story and the game are in total harmony with each other. And that's really cool. It's really cool. It's really cool that games can do that. And Like, this is one of the first games I played where, like, it felt so seamless. Where the gameplay and the story felt like they belong together. Because usually in games, it's like the story is something separate, right? It's something separate that happens in the cutscenes. But the gameplay is like its own thing. That's just to, that's just to play, right? That's just to in, like, you know, play the game. And then the story is like this thing on the side that you experience between, you know, bursts of gameplay. Where this is not like that at all. And you don't even have to know anything. Like you don't even have to to care about the story, which is also really cool. Like you could play the whole game, and at the end you beat the final boss, and you're just like. What the fuck just happened? Like, what on earth did did I just go through? And you might have no idea, and that's totally possible. And that's awesome. Like, I think that's really cool. I think, and the story is really interesting. Like, it's really interesting. The world is really cool. It's really rich. But you don't even have to know. Like, that's so awesome. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the Pyromancy and Dexterity build, so I can start out the gate some Dex. I like this voice actor. No salivation.
No, this is definitely better than the Undead Asylum. See, that's all you know. That's all the game tells you. There's two bells, one way up high, one down below, ring them both, something happens. That's all, like, on the surface, that's all the game tells you. And that's only if you even talk to this guy. Like, you don't even have to talk to him. He's just there. He's just hanging out. What is... How does it how does the game describe humanity? This black sprite is called humanity, but little is known about its true nature. The soul is the source of all life, and what distinguishes the humanity we hold within ourselves. I don't know, what is a soul? Like, in this, in this world, what is a soul? I don't know, is that ever explained? The dark sign signifies an accursed undead. Those branded with it are reborn after death, but will one day lose their mind and go hollow. Death triggers the dark sign, which returns its bearer to the last bonfire rested at. Not a lot. I want. What is the big pilgrim's key? The big key belonging to a chosen undead pilgrim. This chosen undead knows not what this pilgrimage has in store. Master key. <laughs> Most doors are better left unopened. Mysterious knight, without saying a word, shoved a corpse down into the cell, and on its person was this key. Who was this knight, and what was his purpose? There may be no answers. One must still forge ahead. Awesome. Like, I, like I, I love, like, all the mysterious little, little artifacts, like, makes the game really feel alive. Oh, I remember this guy. Like some lady shows up and like a another guy in this attire later on. Understandable. Okay, I believe we go to the undead burg, right? Which is this. Ah, uh, yes, I remember this. Not kill him. Whoa. <laughs> I almost followed that guy off the ledge. What, what was that guy thinking? That guy hollowed out his mind. Oh, he got me. Oh man, I'm getting beat up. What? I can't block that? Alright, that's enough. That guy did a number on me. Anything around here? And Dark Souls is basically a fighting game. 
basically a fighting game RPG with a lot less moves and where you're constantly fighting opponents who are outnumbering you and are using a lot of cheap and broken moves. Forgot about you. It came out swinging. All right. Soul of a lost undead. What does it say? How does it describe souls? Souls are the source of all life, and whether undead or even hollow, one continues to see them. And that's kind of, again, that's kind of left ambiguous. Because in Western theology, what a soul is, is very clear. A soul is the combination of the spirit and the body. That is the Western idea of a soul. Ooh. Oh, that is a much better shield. What platform did this originally release on? I think it released on PS3 and 360. All right. This is the first like real bonfire. Like where you're like at a, like I'm, like I'm, I'm in a level now. Um. Do some more dexterity, and I guess that's all I can afford. I could probably use a new weapon though, because I think, I think this weapon, it scales. Okay, it scales a little bit with dex, but mostly with strength, and I, I'm not going to be really leveling my strength. I don't know if at all. Maybe a little bit depends on what weapon. I end up using. Yeah, I'm doing like no damage right now. I think there's an there's an a room down there or something. Forget. It. Let's see. You guys have some reach. All right. Broke right through that shield. Ah. Hidden stairway. I mean, have you played Dark Souls? Are you a Dark Soulser? Oh, I remember this. Anyone else here? More? 
Oh wow, I don't remember this. You guys are hollowed out they mines. They're straight up crackheads. This is like a crackhead corner. Probably live in that trap house right there. I don't remember this area. Oh. Oh. I guess. Jump down. Oh, okay. That's Trixie. Oh, you've never played it. Never played Dark Souls. Yeah, this is like one of the most legendary games of all time. Anyone who likes, um, any, anyone who's, who actively plays games or anyone who likes maybe, um, RPGs or, or just combat, if you just enjoy combat or anything, like, it, it it's a must play game. It's a must play game. <laughs> yeah, and everyone talks like that. Everyone always like laughs maniacally. Everyone's like bizarre. Okay, he has a weapon. Um maybe a scimitar? How much are these? Six hundred? Maybe a rapier? Rapier or a scimitar? Huh. Let's see. Okay, so this scales really well with that. This scales less good. Uh, sure. I'll start off with a scimitar. I don't know how long I will use that for, but I'll start off with it. Better than what I've got. I think the scimitar is a starting item, a starting weapon for another class. But I didn't pick that class because I wanted the pyromancy flame. Which you only get if you pick the pyromancer class at the beginning. Okay, I believe. Yeah, they're going to throw fire bombs. So I should run. Oh, that got me. Oh. Going to heal right in front of you, dude. No respect. How do you the backstab? Do you just get behind him? I don't remember. Do you just like that? There's a way to, to backstab, like get a whole animation and does a ton of damage. But I forget. I forget what I have to do. And is this I don't think this door opens. Let's actually just see what this weapon is like. Okay, that's pretty simple. That's uh, honestly, it's kind of shit. I mean, that's cute. Okay. Can I go from can I chain light into heavy? Yeah, I can. Okay. Is it? Is this? The thing is that it's kind of slow. And short range, which is like a terrible combo, right? Like if you're if you're slow, you want to have range, right? And if you're if you're short range, like you don't have a lot of range, you want to be at least be quick. This seems to have neither. 
Oh, hello. The rapier is even simpler. It's just like, it just pokes. You know, you just thrust. That's the only attack, but... But I don't mind that, actually. Don't get hurt. I think there's a bunch of guys up here. Okay, but... If I get a good angle, I can attack two enemies at the same time. Pretty cool. About to drop on these guys. Oh man. Am I gonna die? Oh no, I fell! I'm alive. Wow. I survived. I shouldn't have survived. Honestly, I should have died. That's kind of cool. Like the... The roll in, roll in attack, kind of flashy. Okay, I needed the master key. What's in here? Ah, chest. Gold pine resin. Okay, I think what that does, I think it applies an electric, like a lightning elemental property to my weapon. But it's temporary. Oops. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I can't kick with this weapon. Cut through his guard. I think there's a guy up here. Crossbow. Yep. Mean looking dudes here. Longsword. I'm willing to try that. Let's take a look. Okay. So it does more damage. But it doesn't scale very well. I mean, it still scales with dex. Very straightforward, but but that's not bad, honestly. Hmm. Try the heavy. Oh, it's a stab. That's actually really nice. Hmm. No, I think. I think later I want to use a curved sword. The sword, the weapon I want to use later, I think, is a curved sword, and so I should probably get used to using the scimitar. I'm gonna go back to the bonfire and level up, and go through that again, and hopefully use less Estus flasks.
Okay, get some vitality. So how many souls do I need for the next? Okay, so we can just kill like a couple guys and grab one more level. Yeah, I think I think that's all I need. Oh. Yep, that should be enough. Grab a little bit more vitality. Honestly, I probably should have grabbed endurance. Yeah, next time, next couple levels, I'll do a couple levels worth of endurance. Is that He's about to drink on me. Yeah, my endurance sucks. All right, let's not get firebombed this time. Oh, man. All right, that could have gone worse. Charge in. Right. Wasn't bad. Battle axe. Probably a strength weapon. Kill this guy. All right. I think there's a black knight. Yeah. I'm definitely not going to fight him yet. Like, if you're good, if you're really good, you could probably just fight him and win. Yeah, this... I remember that. Whoa. Guy was ready. Oh. Oh, I only get five Estus Flasks because I need to kindle that bonfire. Yeah, so if you've never played this game, you the number at the top left is my... I think that's my humanity. Yeah, that's my humanity level. And you can cash that in to reverse your hollowing. And honestly, I don't even remember what reversing my ho hollowing does, but you, you look like a normal person. You don't look like a zombie. And you so you get your appearance back, but it, it does something. I forget what it does. But you can also spend humanity to to kindle bonfires, which means that whenever you go to the bonfire the next time, you get 10 Estus Flasks instead of 5, which is a pretty big deal. But yeah, I'm probably going to have to go through that again. Because I'm going to need a kind. Oh yeah, I need to be... I need to reverse my hollowing first in order to kindle the bonfire. I guess there's certain things that you can't do unless your hollowing is reversed. Yeah, so if you can see my face, I look like a normal person again. Um, can... So now I should get 10 Estus. Yeah. Do I have enough to level up? I do. Oh. 
and realize that guy was right on top of me. Whoa. Whoa, who are you? Who the hell was that? Okay, not bad. I could have attacked him right there. I was scared. Man, look at you. Look at you dodging. right through that guy. Another long sword. Right, so I don't think that, yeah, that flaming trap doesn't come down a second time. I think, I think this is the first boss coming up. I think so. Yeah, I think so. I don't remember if he's hard or not. But I do remember that there's archers up here. Make everything really annoying for you. You don't kill them. Let's see how this goes. This is so scenic. God rays. Yeah, this game is like 12 years old. That looks good. Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, did that miss or? Oh, man. The thing about pyromancy is you get locked in the animation and it's slow. Oh, man, it missed. Oh, that got me. Oh, that tracks? Wow, okay. Okay. All right, we did it. First real boss. Nice.
That was cool. I think there's a really weird guy over here. In the clouds. No, I think I'm thinking of something else. I think I'm I'm thinking of another room. The guy I was thinking of is somewhere else. I think he's after the next boss. Oh, but I believe this is where Solaire is. I believe he's praising the sun. There he is. Also enjoying the view. Yeah, everyone's like this. Everyone's weird. Sure. Sure. White so stone. True. Yeah, I, I think this is the game's way of explaining multiplayer because there is a multiplayer element to this game. I don't think it works in this because I'm playing like the old, the old version. I think I don't even know if this is supported online anymore. I think only the remastered version is supported online. But normally, you there will be like these shining, uh, bright spots on the floor, usually by bosses, where you could where someone could uh could leave their sign there, and if you can you can choose. And it, you'll see it in your world, and you could choose to summon them into your world. <laughs> what a thing to say. If only I could be so grossly incandescent as the sun. Right. Yeah, I don't think we'll see him again for a long time. But we will see him. And I believe there's a dragon. I think I hear... Whoa! Where is it? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I probably don't want to go that way. No, I guess I have to go that way. Do I? I don't remember. What's the item description? Be summoned to another world as a phantom through your sign. Defeat the area boss to acquire humanity. Oh yeah, if you help someone out, someone someone else, you get humanity for it. In Lordran, the flow of time is distorted, and the white Fine soapstone allows undead to assist one another. I 
Can I even go this way? Oh, I think I do. I think I have to. I think there's little notches on the sides. So let me drink. Make sure I'm at full health. Yeah, here. I actually think you can, uh, I think if you have a bow, you can shoot the dragon's tail off and get a weapon. Like, uh, his tail becomes a weapon that you can use, I believe. Okay. Really rather not die right now. Have a lot of souls. Ooh. Make sure we stay high, high health. Die. Oh, nice. Sometimes rats drop humanity. I'm not sure why that is. I don't know if the game's trying to say something, but sometimes rats do drop humanity. And there are certain builds in the game where the more humanity you have, the stronger your attacks are. And some people, I, I've heard of people going into the sewers and just farming rats for humanity. But honestly, like, fuck that, dude. That's like, why would you do that? Because it's it takes so long, and like, for what? You know, like, there's other ways. There's other ways of playing that don't require grinding like that. Why would you impose impose that on yourself? Oh. Oh, I remember this now. Totally forgot about that guy. He's he's following me. Um I don't remember where I came from. Is there a downstairs? Yep. Oh man. I don't think I don't know if I can kill this guy. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, he got me. Damn, that's a lot. <clears throat> that's a lot of souls I lost. I'm all the way back here. But that's okay. Okay. Um... Let's just try to run through, which I think I should be able to do. Oh. And there's a lot happening right now. Whoa. Man, that was close. RPG exterminator. Where's the closest bonfire? I don't think there's a bonfire down here. No key I use or anything, is there? 
Yeah, I think if you have a key equipped, it uh it gets used automatically when you try to open. Are those guys going to follow me? Oh, oh man. This is where I should have gone to begin with. Now this connects me to this bonfire. That's what I should have done. Yep, now I'm back. Man, I should have done this first. Then I could have cashed in my souls. And then if I died, it would have been irrelevant. It wouldn't have mattered. Oh well. That's, that's Dark Souls. Game is designed to inflict pain. Oh, you didn't fall off. You should have. Oh. Ah. Do not want to get poisoned. If that meter fills up all the way, you get poisoned. And poison is no good. Oh, they gave me back my souls. Wow. I'm actually really surprised. I'm going to go spend them. Normally, whenever you get killed by an opponent, by a foe like that, usually they absorb the souls. And so in order to get them back, you have to kill the, per the, the enemy that killed you. So I thought that the Black Knight was going to have my souls. And that the only way to get them back would be to kill him. But the game was merciful. And it just dropped him on the floor for me. This way? Yep. I am very appreciative. So yeah, now it's all good. No harm, no foul. Grab one endurance. More decks. Maybe some more endurance. More decks. Cool. This is a good spot to take a quick break. I'll be right back.
Oof. Back. Right. Let's continue. All right. Back up. I guess let's try to fight the knight, the black knight. <clears throat> I might be able to kill him with pyromancy. We will see. Those spears have a lot of reach. Man. Oh, no, no, no. And these rats are beating me up. Oh, no. That's. Reevaluate. I do not want to fight you on a ledge. <laughs> I just push the corpse off the ledge. Come on. Let's do this out here. I wish this weapon was faster. Oh, is that humanity? Don't drop. Got it. All right. Actually, one moment, just one moment. Okay, poof. Sorry about that. We're back. <clears throat> All right, let's see how this goes. See if I can clutch this.
the back stop. Let's go down. I do not want to fight on such a narrow space. Did I hit him? I think I did. How much damage did I do? Okay. Ooh. Oh no, man, I try to roll away. I don't know if I was just too late or if I was stuck in an animation, I, like I was stun locked from the first hit. I don't know, that's disappointing though. I could have won that. Can I just run past the rats and all that? I don't know. This guy's blocking my way. Oh, great. Alright, let's just fight. Man, that one hand attack stuck with this one. Something like this happening. I have to stay two handing this weapon. Man, these rats are faster with the same range or more. In order to connect, I have to be like right on top of them. Let's try one more time. Let's try to let's see if we can get this one more time. I mean this this guy's killable. Like this is a winnable fight, but I mean he's he is he is tough. He is a very tough opponent. Coming. Right? You coming? Where'd he go? Man, and I can't see. Must have went back up. I think I hear him. No? He's not coming? Oh man, I guess I'm gonna have to try and fight him up there. Oh, that was a bad time to do that. That was a bad start. Is he coming? He won't come down the stairs. Oh. oh man, this sucks. 
I uh, forget this. If he doesn't follow me, then yeah, the fight's over. I hear footsteps. Okay, there he is. Yeah, this Pyromancer Flame, it's so slow. Powerful, but yeah, it's very slow. Got him. Oh, man. That was a pain, but we did it. And Titanite chunks are valuable in the beginning of the game. Use those to upgrade your weapon. Oh no! Oh, you're drinking too? Whatever, dude. Whatever. I'm not about to kill a Black Knight and then lose to y'all. That is not about to happen. Okay. Yeah, this is a good time to have a shit. Really, that hit me. All right, forget you then. Oh, I ran out of endurance. Or stamina. Alluring skull. I don't remember what that does. Oh man. Yeah, I don't want to be on this platform. Right? What? You got to block at the same time? There, that's a backstab. Okay, I guess I just have to line myself up perfectly. Because I didn't even mean to do that. That was an accident. So, the alluring skulls, what are those? A skull with meekly lingering souls. Throw to shatter and spread souls to attract certain types of enemies. Souls are a concentration of life, and the life-starved hollows are lured by its power. Huh. It attracts certain enemies? I don't even know. I don't remember this item. I don't even know where I would use that. Yeah, look at that thing. Um... I'm kind of in bad shape, so let's go back to the bonfire and grab another level and then come back. Make sure not to fall off this ledge. All right, we'll be right around the corner. And we're back.
Um, grab more decks. One or one and and one endurance. That sounds good. And Estus flasks, a little bit stronger. And then we'll probably fight that boar. Oh, I gotta fight these guys again. Almost fell with him. Uh, wow, look at that. I try to run past them, and yeah, that did not, that did not go well. I think I'm gonna die. Unless I can get a drink in. Oh man. Alright, well now I know I can't do that. Man, what ferocious enemies. The simple rat. Wow. I did not expect that. I just got deleted. Yeah, I think if I shoot that tail with the bow and arrow, I think it breaks off. And I believe it turns into a, a, a weapon. Oh, see ya, man. Thanks for tuning in. Cool, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate you being here. Um, man, the reach on those spears. Alright, let's not get blown up by fucking rats this time. I just no clipped. Just went into the back rooms. That rat and how lives in the back rooms. Okay. Take out his buddy. And even the simplest enemies, you can't just like you can't just plow through them. Like even the simplest enemy is dangerous. Oh, I ran right into that. Happened to spam that move. Did he die? The one that fell? Oh, he didn't die. And he healed himself. I just heard him. I heard him. Oh boy. Hi. Whoa. Man. The damage I'm taking. Oh, 
the fire burned me, really. I think I think I have to attack it from behind, right? Right? Here? No? I thought that's what I was supposed to do. I don't know. Well, I remember this. This is a trap. Isn't it? He's trying to, like, lure me in. I think there's a lot of these crackhead hollows around. Man, this weapon's too slow. Like, the startup... The startup on this swing before the hitbox comes becomes active takes forever for such a short range weapon. Mystery key. What is that? Purpose of this key is unknown. It appears to be a basic prison cell key. So, this unlocks a key or a door, some prison, some prison cell somewhere out around here. Whoa. Man, yeah, I'm not I'm not a big fan of this weapon. Maybe I should switch to a rapier. And plus it's a this scimitar kind of weird wielding it two hand with two hands like a weapon like this probably should be wielded with one hand kind of goofy to hold it two hand but i don't like these animations like do you really got to twirl your wrist like that before chopping or swinging down i think it's slower the one-handed is slower Maybe not. I don't know, it's hard to tell. They're both pretty slow. All right, so what's up here? Reverse the white light. Where are we? I think we're getting into the undead parish. Which is where the, the first bell is. Oh, okay. Okay, this is familiar. Cut through his defense. Sorry, my dog is barking at nothing. Oh no.
Oh no. Huh, okay. All right, so I'm I'm going to have to oh, I'm going to have to dance. Actually, I can go this way. There's a bonfire this way. They should stop follow they should stop chasing me eventually. Yeah, it should be right here. Oh man, that was close. That was really close. Let's reverse our hollowing. Let's kindle. We got 10 Estus flasks. And let's level up. All right, now let's go back up there. Well, does Andre, because there's a blacksmith downstairs, you can hear him. I don't remember if he sells weapons. Let's check. I am. Learn gesture. Hurrah. Fuck. This is, this guy's honestly probably the most sane character in the whole game. Even though he's just like down here by himself, just hammering away, which is pretty insane. But uh, he's probably the most level-headed guy here. And he was so popular that they actually brought him back into Dark Souls 3, which I, I think they shouldn't have done. It's really weird. But um, yeah, he's, he's in Dark Souls 3. Okay, so he sells the armor and weapons, smithing box, repair box. Okay, that's useful. Sell some swords. I don't think I'm interested in these. Pike. The pike is actually pretty good. Because you can you can block and attack at the same time with the pike. It's really useful. Is this where I came from? Yeah. So this, if I were to go straight through this church, then there's an elevator that'll take me ba back to Firelink Shrine, which is the main hub world. Which is one of the cooler things about this game, is the way it's it's all interconnected. Like, it's very brilliantly designed. It's one of the best designs in any game. The way the map is laid out. Oh, man. Yeah, the interconnectedness to where you can just, you can get anywhere from anywhere, and it uh it makes it feel real, it makes it feel like a real world. Will you follow me over here? I don't remember how to fight you. I'd like space to learn your moves. Oh man.
Okay. So these guys are glass cannons. They do a lot of damage, but even though they look like really cool with the plate mail, they they uh they die pretty easy. Always run out of endurance. If I had a little bit more endurance, I could trivialize those enemies and just cut right through them. Sorry about my dog. Basement key. Opens the narrow passage leading below at the far face of the great bridge in the undead berg. Den of thieves. Okay. Albert. I think one of my buddies beat the game with the halberd. Can I equip it? Or do you or am I not strong enough? Yeah, I'm not strong enough. I need sixteen strength. I wasn't gonna use it, I just wanted to test it out. Oh, Oh, these guys actually take can take a punch. I was wailing on that guy. Yeah. Hit that elegant back step. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I I need to start incorporating more back step. Those are pretty nice. Two, one second. Okay. You're back. Oh yeah, there's that guy's really strong. I don't know if you Oh. Oh yeah, there's one of those arcane magicians up top. Uh, yeah, let's not go this way. Let's go back around. Let's... Let's fight this guy with fire. Gotta get him outside.
Okay, we can finish him off. Oh, no, no, you don't. No, you don't. All right, very good. I don't think that guy respawns. Firekeeper. I forget what... I know those are super important. I forget what it does, though. Soul of a long-lost firekeeper. Each firekeeper is a corporal, a manifestation of her bonfire, and a draw for the humanity which is offered to her. Her soul is gnawed by infinite humanity and can boost the power of precious Estus flasks. It can be used to gain humanity and restore HP. Oh. I think it makes my Estus flasks stronger. I think I give it to someone. And it makes my Estus Flask stronger. I think that's what it does. Okay, so this should take me back to Firelink. Yeah. Here we are. So cool. I love I I love that interconnectedness. Uh, anything else to say? Well, how nice. Does that do anything? Coin made of copper. Its face shows old man McLoif, god of medicine and drink. Even coins of great value in the world of men have little value in Lordran, where the accepted currency is souls. Those who dream of returning to the outside world are fond of carrying these around. Do anything? And how do gods work? Like, what is a god in this world? How are there gods? It seems like everything just is, and then there's like tiers of like beings. Like, there's the, the ancients, like the ancient dragons, which are like timeless. They're like pre-existent, they've always existed. And then there was fire one day, and then these beings came out of the fire, which are like the lords, like Gwyn. Like what is a god in this world? So I think, yeah, I can give her my firekeeper soul. Okay, cool. So now my Estus Flask is stronger. So I guess this is a firekeeper and I think she had her tongue cut out I think that's why she can't speak and she maintains the fire here at Firelink Shrine can I level up? I can I will grab more dexterity All right. Well, I think we will call it there. So, uh, a good start. It's a good start. I haven't played this game in a while, and it it really uh it really brings back memories. I was in a different place when I first played this game, and when I first played this game, I I knew nothing about it. Um, it I just got it for free on Xbox Live because I had Xbox, uh. It was like Games with Gold or something like that. But I just got it for free. And I thought, oh, cool, let me try it out. And then uh, 
it really gripped me. And then I looked it up, and apparently it was like this cult classic game that people really loved. And so I knew nothing about it when I first played it. Now, you know, Dark Souls is like a meme. It's so famous. So it's, it's interesting to go back and to revisit it and see the things I remember so far and the things that I don't. But uh, that was fun for the people who joined me. Thank you for joining me.